Hello everybody and welcome back to the poor man's chemist. In this video we are going to be making mercuric chloride from mercurous chloride. I hadn't been able to find where anybody has demonstrated this prep method on YouTube before or BitChute or anywhere else for that matter. Um, I did it the last time I made mercuric chloride. This is how I did it, although that was kind of on accident. I tried to start from mercuric oxide, and it was a great big mess. At first, I tried reacting it with HCl, and that produced a, a fuck ton of mercurous chloride. So I bubbled chlorine through it, and that produced mercuric chloride. This time, I'm just starting from the mercurous chloride from the word go. Um, we've got just under, it's like 20.95 grams of mercurous chloride in here. This is just a standard chlorine generator. There's trichloro isocyanuric acid in there and some water. I'm gonna put some hydrochloric acid in the addition funnel and drip it into there to generate the chlorine gas. And then I will just bubble the chlorine gas through the suspension of mercurous chloride while it's stirring and I guess we'll turn on the heat since that's what I did last time. Does it need HCl? I don't know. It, it might. It might. I think chlorine alone will do it though and I'm going to try it with that because I would prefer to not have to add HCl to this to, you know, end up with some acid salt or something and then I gotta try to fuck around with that nonsense. Um, I wanted to show something else uh, that I had done already too. Come over here, show you guys this, just because it's so pretty. And I think it is what I was shooting for, but I'm not 100% sure, so I'm about to like destroy it. And I just wanted you to see the, the beautiful sparkliness of it. Um, that is where I tried to create mercuric bromide by um, reacting mercury with bromine. This in water. Now it's about a pain in the ass, man. Um, I, I couldn't get it to work. I eventually ended up adding a little bit of nitric acid in there. Then I added more nitric acid in there. And then finally it got started reacting. And then it crashed out of mercurous salt. And then I added elemental bromine to it. And when everything was said and done and it cooled off, I got these beautiful little needly like crystals. And I'm pretty sure they are mercuric bromide. But, I i mean, the crystal morphology is right. Everything about it is right for that to be that. But since I'm not sure, I'm just going to make it all alkaline and recover it all as yellow mercuric oxide and not worry about it. Um, besides, other things we can do with the yellow mercuric oxide. Um, but this is the mercury. It doesn't look like, it's like gray sludge. But it is not liquid, even though there is elemental mercury in here. It forms some kind of weird, almost like an amalgam with elemental bromine. It was doing some really weird shit. Like, normally when you dissolve mercury in nitric acid, it's, you know, it just sits there as a little glob of metal. You can see it in my mercurous nitrate video, synthesis video. That's what it normally looks like. But this turned into like, well... It almost looks like kind of like a solid. It is the weirdest thing, man. I'm, I'm not exactly sure what was going on there. Um, to my knowledge, mercury doesn't form an amalgam with bromine. I don't know, maybe it does. <laughs> I don't think so, though. Um, maybe it dissolved mercurous bromide or mercuric bromide. In it. I'm not really sure what happened there. I don't know. I'm going to dissolve it all in nitric acid and we'll, we'll let that all sort it out. Anywho, on with the prep. Okay, so I tried to do a time lapse of this, but I had some issues getting it to work at first. The trick was to increase the um, flow rate of the chlorine. Once I boosted that up, that clarified the solution in like less than 10 minutes so i'm just gonna let the um the chlorine just keep bubbling through here i want to make sure it is thoroughly oxidized and then once that is done i will come back we'll take it off evaporate it down and get our product okay so here's our solution 
going to filter it now because it's got a, just a few little bits of I don't even know what. It almost looks like threads or fibers in it. I have no idea where that could have come from. Now, once this is all filtered, all we have to do is just evaporate it down. See, this prep is very easy, very straightforward. Doesn't really take a long time. Who knew that mercurous chloride was so incredibly useful? Okay, holy shit, people. I tried forever to get this shit to crystallize and get a time lapse of it last night, and I could not get it to do it no matter what I did. So I put it in the shed, covered up with a watch glass, and left it there last night and came out this morning, and this is what I found, man. These things are beautiful. Look at that. Look at it. It shines in the sun. Oh, that is so fucking great. That is better than sex. Oh my god. That's so funny. Look at that. And I love that 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 one is like almost at well it's not at right angles to it. But it is orthogonal to it, kinda sorta. <laughs> Who cares? Um the stir bar, as usual, served as the nucleation site for all these crystals. And it seems to have um favored crystallizing out in big columns. Um, I'll have to show you the view from the top down here to show you that part. Are you focused, new camera? Stay focused. Look at that shit. Look at that. Wait, there we go. Now look at that shit. That is fucking awesome. That is great, man. All right, so now we're going to filter our beautiful death crystals here. And break that up. The glass rod. Um, mercuric chloride, its old name is corrosive sublimate. And I, I can only gather that's because it is corrosive. So based on some of the stuff that I've read, um, it, it's not the happiest thing in the world so i wouldn't go working with it with metallic tools just because it will react with metals in fact that's what we're going to use this for i want this to try to make up a jones reductor and to do that we need um, zinc amalgam and what i've seen the literature says to to make it up by reacting zinc with mercuric chloride. That is what this is destined for. Um, so, yeah, again, you want to try to probably just stick with glass tools as much as possible. To get the stir bar out, I get to show off one of my, my birthday present that I got. I, this came from Backyard Science 2000. I was not expecting this at all. Dude was like, you know, you clearly need some stir bars. And it came in the mail yesterday. Blew me away. I had no idea they were coming. So, dude, thank you, man. These are actually decent stir bars man that's fucking awesome it won't be such a pain in the ass trying to create things like suspensions of mercurous chloride oh my god that was such a fucking nightmare yesterday because my stir bars are cheap and they fucking suck anywho i've also got a stir bar retriever Whee! and it's covered with ptfe and everything so i can just stick it down in there and look at that so much more convenient all right and there we go cool so now i'm gonna filter this like we normally do there's just a coffee filter in there nothing fancy get out of there and this stuff is pretty toxic um i think i've mentioned it in a previous video but when i was researching it i came across this awful story about this um lady that was kidnapped this was like back in the 1920s i think up in chicago um by this really just from everything i've been able to read by by this guy that was just a total bastard and um anyway he kidnapped her and, and raped her for like a day or two or something and to try to escape she um convinced i guess one of the, the other guys that was there to go and get her tablets of mercuric chloride at the pharmacy don't know what they were sold, but at one point you could buy this compound in like every drugstore in the world, um, just about. And so 
she got the tablets of them and she took them to try to commit suicide and vomiting blood massive kidney failure took her probably a lot longer to die than she wished it would it's pretty awful stuff man <laughs> so yo know, yeah you you definitely want to um respect this compound and I know that's a horrible story. I'm sure I'm going to get somebody in the comments going, Oh my God, you brought that up and it triggers my PTSD. I'm sorry, bad things happen in the world, okay? You know, you need to, um, to deal, basically. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry, bad things have happened to, to you if it was you or somebody you know and love. And I, hey, catch the bastard and fucking nail their ass to the wall or just hang them. That works. I'm all for that. But I'm not going to tiptoe around. Oh, shit. Now it's my tripod. That's a piece of shit. But yeah, I'm not going to tiptoe around censoring my speech and not talking about things that happened in history just because somebody may not like it. I mean, I, I share that sentiment. I don't like it either. My heart breaks for that poor lady. Even now, a hundred years later. I mean, shit. Okay, I know, I don't know how we got so dark on this one, but merc mercuric chloride is a compound with a lot of history, y'all. This compound's been around for a while. And, um, yeah, I don't know what it used to be used medicinally for. I know mercurous chloride was used to treat constipation. But mercuric chloride, I'm not exactly sure what it was. Maybe it was used as a depilatory, a hair-removing agent. Did you know that, th I just re learned this recently, that thallium was used as a depilatory. So maybe between that and the people spreading thallium around as pesticide, is probably how they figured out that thallium absorbs to the skin. Meaning that just like the slightest touch and then washing it off immediately doesn't have enough time to kill you. I, I am, I'm gonna go on a limb here. I'm gonna say that fairly conclusively at this point. Now, doesn't hold true for all thallium compounds, obviously, but you know. Don't try that trick with some alkylated mercury species. There's a little bit of jizz here. I'm not sure what it is. It almost looks like dirt. Don't want to any dirt in my triumph here, you fucker. Anyway, look at that. Beautiful, nice crystals. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to dry these things in the desiccator at a low temp. Meaning, I mean, the molecular sieves in the desiccator are freshly charged. If I just let this stuff sit in there in the shade, you know, under the canopy or in the shed all day, um, you know, it's, it's, it's still early in the year. It's not getting that hot during the day yet. So hopefully it will just dry and not sublimate all over. So anyway, if you, I mean, we're basically done at this point. We have our solid here. So if you like that video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, well, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe, comment, share the video, donate a few bucks if you can. And until the next one, y'all, I will see you later. Look at that shit, man. That is so beautiful. The way it sparkles in the sun. It sparkles. I love it.